start at Cape Canaveral. NASA scrubbed the launch of Discovery just minutes before the 1.36 a.m. liftoff this morning because of thunderstorms in the area. The storms developed late last night, causing downpours at the Cape, plus lightning that showed up on radar just five miles from the launch pad. NASA will try again overnight at 1.10 tomorrow morning. A special guest joins us right here in the studio, although if he's been watching, he may change his mind. <laughs> Hall of Fame coach Lou Holtz. He's here and he's having oh good he's a not chat watching some of his friends. he's not watching thankfully <laughs> we're gonna get his forecast for the football season and find out some of the worst weather he's ever had to deal with coaching coming up on Woo Wah. Now, when it comes to college football, it doesn't get much better than my next guest. He's best known as a national championship coach while at Notre Dame, but Lou Holtz coached football, college football for over 30 years, leading more schools to bowl games and top 20 rankings than any coach in Division I history. Coach Holtz, good morning and welcome to Wake Up With Al. Thank you, Al. When, when you walked in, you, you, you hit me with a weather joke. <laughs> <laughs> I just said the last time was an accurate weather forecast was when God told Noah it was going to rain, but uh, that's no reflection on you, Al. <laughs> it's been downhill ever <laughs> since. It's been downhill ever since. You got well, that right. Well, Coach, first of all, congratulations on being inducted Thank into you. the College Football Hall of Fame. That must have been very special, especially since it was held at Notre Dame. Well, it was special, but when you go in the Hall of Fame, it's because of what other people did. You know, there are a lot of great athletes in there for what they did. I went in because I watched other people do things. And, and even though, you, you know, you're, you're still part of football, you're especially part of it. You're involved with a, a scholarship program that's starting in September. Well, I'm teaming up with Dr. Pepper to give away a million dollars in scholarships for tuition, et cetera. And I got to admit, most of that million dollars has come from Dr. Pepper, but it, it's really a great thing. And uh, it's so simple. Drink Dr. Pepper, enter uh, drpepper.com, uh, have a chance. We'll give away $1,000 a day from September 1 to January 31st. Now you coached in Minnesota and at Notre Dame. Uh, I mean, known for some pretty harsh weather. What was some of the, was, was there any one game that sticks out in your mind where weather was a, a, a deciding factor? Oh, there were a lot of them, but Penn State. I'll tell you, 1987, played Joe Paterno. Uh, it must have been 20 below windshield factor, mm. but a 45-mile-an-hour wind. The wind really bondies in the course of a game. And you always wanted to get the weather forecast out because if it was going to rain, you knew you had to play it more conservatively. If you're an underdog, you wanted bad weather. If you're the favorite, that you... things out. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> oh, Coach Lou Holtz, it's great having you here. We're going to talk with you in just a little bit later, and, and he'll come up with some more jokes, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. All right. Hey, Mike, isn't this great? I got Coach Lou Holtz here. <laughs> I love it, you know, and he coached at my alma mater, Ohio State, so big props uh, to the coach. Oh, to him. Hey, I coached at Ohio State under we Hayes. We won the national championship. That's right, in spite of Mike. <laughs> <laughs> hey, now. Hey, now. Uh, all right, Al, thank you very much. Coach, good to see you. Let's all right, let's go back to Al, who has Coach Holtz with him. Such an That's honor right. for you to be on our show. Thank you, Coach. Well, uh, you mean it's an honor for us to have him oh, yes. on the show. <laughs> it's early. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. The coach you is thinking, not so much. <laughs> you the first time. Uh, so, 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 Coach, you know, a lot of high schools are starting up, you know, oh. and, and you got the two-a-days. It's really hot out there. I know that, you know, you, you safety is very important. What, to, to a lot of the high school coaches out there who are running those two-a-drills, what do you say to them in this heat for their kids? Now, there's nothing to concern me more than the health of an individual during heat. So what I'd say to the football team, amen, I don't need a hero. You're responsible for your health. You know when you don't feel good, you don't know when you're sick, you know when you need water, get whatever you need. I don't need a hero. I don't have time to go to the hospital. I don't get mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation to anybody <laughs> unless you're over 21 and under 30. So you have to take care of your own health. I don't want a hero. Well, okay, we hear you, Coach. Pay attention. Uh, and, and also, you know, uh, uh, Florida won it all last year. And, 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 and Stephanie's a, a gator. Uh, uh, what do you think their chances are this year? I think that uh, Stephanie's going to be a very happy young lady. I, I went up, I spoke to the Florida football team a week ago Monday. Urban Meyer coached for me Notre Dame. They are very, very talented. But I've never seen a football team work as hard as they worked during Thanks, two days. Coach. I think they will play in the championship game, Stephanie. All right, I got my coach fingers Lula. crossed. Thanks so much. Uh, that's Thank great. You. Hey, uh, Mike, uh, I know nothing about uh, uh, Ohio State, but yeah, so much for those Buckeyes, <laughs> I guess. That's okay. Yeah, Me sure. and Coach can commiserate together. Oh well. Right. Thanks for joining us on Wake Up with Al. We'll see you tomorrow morning.